to say about church splits or divisions well the first split or first division that took place is in genesis chapter 1 and verse 3 god created light and he divided he made a division separated the light from the darkness and he's always doing that separating the light from the darkness he separated israel from other nations dividing because that's the only way he can maintain purity and uh, even in the uh, early days the first century we read in revelation chapter 2 of the church in ephesus which had left its first love and the lord tells that church that if you don't repent he tells the elder i will remove the lampstand from your midst which means i will move my i will no longer be in your midst see it's the presence of jesus that makes a church a lampstand if jesus is not there it's no longer a lampstand and but he says there there are some overcomers there like even in to the church in sardis he says but there are a few in your midst revelation 3 4 who have not soiled their garments like that in every church he speaks about overcomers there's a group of people who did not fall away into backsliding like the rest of the church but a few who were overcomers so the overcomers were the ones who sensed the presence of god in the church and when jesus left the church it's like the bridegroom leaves the church uh, leaves the hall the wedding hall what does the bride do the bride leaves so when the overcomers sensed that the lord has finally left this church they would leave also and that would be called a church split but those overcomers would start a new church which would be the real church if the division was based on a doctrinal difference for example for if there was no split in christendom 5 600 years ago all of you would be roman catholics today everyone but because there was one man called martin luther in the roman catholic church who was a monk who decided to stand up against the false teaching of salvation is by keeping the catholic ordinances or by giving money to the catholic church he said that's not the way salvation is by repentance and faith in christ and it's true that the catholic authorities wanted to kill him for that but god protected him and that's how the protestant church started in the 1500s and that became the anglican church in england in the 1700s and when john wesley in the 1700s got up and wanted to preach about salvation and holiness this anglican church which started with luther didn't want him so there was another church split that john wesley started the methodist church otherwise the anglican church was not preaching about being born again it would have been a dead church all along but because god raised up a man who proclaimed the truth another group came out of the group that luther started so there's always been this and then after a while uh in the methodist church 100 years later a man called william booth in england brought the prostitutes and drunkards to the church to get saved and those methodists said no we don't want them here go somewhere else so he left and started the salvation army church and that's declined and through the years if you look at church history every church sort of gets corrupt after a while and a group comes out of it and out of it it's like a death resurrection process and that's how the lord has preserved the purity of the church through the centuries so if there were no church splits there would not be a church pure church today but when a church is split like i said earlier where paul tells the ephesian elders you're trying to draw away disciples after yourself that's not a church split that is a selfish trying to attract people to yourself and trying to establish your own kingdom that type of thing god will never endorse when a person leaves a group and dot pulls people away not because of impurity of doctrine but because he wants to get a following for himself and then some people also leave a church because they say we don't want to hear such strong preaching against sin there are many cases of people who leave a church because they say the preaching against sin is too strong here yeah and some people told me that who left this church some time ago it's too strong okay so there are different reasons why people leave and we leave that with god but i believe that there's a need always for a church to have a pure testimony and god gathers such people together 
how to how to